How you guys and girls doing today? Timster918 here, y'all. Welcome back to the channel. And guess what? Fuck you guys. I'm quitting YouTube. No, I'm just kidding. What's going on, though, y'all? Once again, we're back with another scuffed, more than likely, unedited video where I'm going to stutter a lot because my brain is fucked. But, um, no, this is another analyzation video of, uh, you know, when we're running and we do something good and we decide to walk through my thought process of what happened or do something bad and die and then see what we could learn but this is another one where we did really good on we actually got a double kill and got a nice juicy mk47 mother freaking mutant uh so you know as we can see right here i'm running we actually see two people what i'm going to do on this clip is different i'm going to actually let it play first and then we'll go back and talk about it but this is the two people and i'm talking right now because you know i engage them when i shouldn't but that's not when the real fight begins so I'm going to skip around here until the real fight starts. And uh, what you'll see is you'll see me backing up my teammate uh, wonderfully because I'm an amazing teammate. And then we'll play it and then we'll go back and talk about it. Okay. So here we go. I'll start it off right here. Let's pursue. Tim. Tim? Yeah. Get my back. Get my back. Mm-hmm. I had your back a little bit. <laughs> I just saw him. Why did he get up? <laughs> Two enemies down. All right, guys, let's go back and talk about that. So as you can see, amazing coverage. We'll start off with the amazing coverage I had on my teammate here. You know, I have his back for, uh, you know, emotional support. And that's, you know, that's what Tarkov's all about, right? You know, you meant to have your teammates back through thick and thin. So, you know, he dies right there. And, of course, immediately, uh, it might sound fucked up, but, you know, my teammate, when he peeks out, I'm, I have his back, right? I mean, I can't shoot through him. So, you know, he dies. And when he peeks, he's going to try to re-peek this because as I'm running at that moment, as you can see, as I'm running, I'm assuming that he's seen me. So right when he says he's going to push this, I'm like, OK, cool. So I go off to the left a little bit right here and I assume that he's seeing me. So I'm assuming that he's going to repeat this because he's already got one kill. You know, when people get a kill, they're going to be excited. A lot of people get scattered brains and they're like, oh, who's next? You know, so I'm going to use that to my advantage. I'm like, OK, he's already killed my teammate. He's probably going to try to peek and kill me next. So I get ready right here. And right when he comes around the corner. You know, head eyes, him, good old head eyes, right? Doesn't matter if you have a helmet, you know, it doesn't really matter. Then I come around the corner and you hear me say, I see him. And this is because I see this guy's feet right here, actually, uh, right under the blue uh, tarp thing right here. So when I see him, I'm like, okay, I'm going to go back. Let me reload this mag. And this right here was kind of a 50-50. It was kind of me knowing what I'm doing and pushing off of, you know, his fear and also just a blind fuck it. I'm just going to push this guy mode. But when I saw his feet, and I saw that he didn't come around the corner the first time. I'm thinking to myself, okay, if this guy was going to come try to refrag his teammate like I refragged mine, he's going to push down this hallway like right now. He's just going to immediately push. But the fact that he didn't shows me he's playing pretty passively. Now, he could have used that to his advantage if he knew what he was doing. But when I'm running up, the craziest thing is I don't hear this grenade. I don't hear him pull the pin at all. So I didn't even know he was throwing a grenade. But once, right when the grenade goes off, I'm like, oh, okay, bet. So now I know. That's an F1 now looking at it, too. Uh, when he throws his grenade, I'm like, okay, cool. I see him right here and I actually start shooting through the blue fence to have him back up a bit. Because I'm just like, okay, he's right there. He's probably going to throw that grenade and turn around and run. Or he could try to be aggressive and walk in with the nade like some people do. So I shoot. I'm like, okay, I'm going to have him back up a bit. And then by the time I turn this corner, as you can see, he's already expecting uh, me to be coming through this corner i'm assuming because you know when i come around here it didn't even look like he got a shot off <laughs> you know he's uh you know he was actually wearing two things he was wearing and i'll show the loot because i know everybody loves to see the loot but you know he's wearing a helmet and the crow thing uh, on top of that but like i said when i come around that corner after he throws that f1 grenade i'm fully expecting him to be there and at the ready for me and um i'm assuming his thought process after throwing that grenade was i hadn't pushed and that he was going to use the shrapnel or use the coverage of the grenade to peek it he didn't expect me to be pushing already but i was shooting so i was like he should know that I'm coming, but, you know, like I said, you know, I pushed this around the corner. I'm like, okay, you know, he should be expecting me. Maybe he was, but he just couldn't turn to me in time. And, yeah, looks like that first shot did him in something solid. So, um, yeah, y'all, you know, that right there is pretty much using people's um, 
aggression to to your advantage you know rip to my man dr doom uh you know he was a really valuable soldier and one of the best we had and you know what i feel extremely bad that uh that that had to happen that way but you know what it is what it is of course i come down i check this guy this guy didn't have much uh yeah i think he had that glock right there and then i go up and i check this guy and like i said i promise a promise i wanted to show you all that nice juicy loot so i hear a scab right i go back down I'm like okay cool and then I'm going to show you all the loot. And this is where I was surprised because I guess, you know, some people, this was early in the wipe too, like day two or three or wipe. And I was just like, God damn, this dude's rocking the MK47. You know, what a fucking Chad, level 18 too. I was like, holy shit, man, this guy's a Chad. I mean, you know, he's the Chaddest of Chads. Um, the crow mask or whatever, I think that's the Pestily Crow, I think. But, you know, that didn't really help him much in this case. But hey. You know, you got to chat it up and y'all, that is it. So the lessons I guess we could take from this, right, is um, use the enemy. You know, I keep looking at this because, man, it's traumatizing seeing your comrades die in such a horrible manner. But it is what it is. Uh, I guess the lesson we could take from this, right, is to use the enemy's aggression to your advantage. The biggest thing about Tarkov uh, and it's I mean, it's not really talked about as much, but it is talked about is people's gear fear, right? And, you know, because in Tarkov, when you lose a set or lose a gear set, it hurts. It's not like Call of Duty when you can just fucking spawn in with the same loadout you had two seconds ago. So not a lot of people are aggressive and making dangerous moves um, that could get them killed if they were punished. So a lot of people just go unpunished and unchecked. That's what a lot of, you know, streamers and, and, and good players capitalize on is people's fear. So when you see someone who's not as aggressive and see someone who's not really pushing you, you push them right or at least you keep moving so that way the enemy doesn't really know what to expect and it's not just going to be a jiggle peak battle or a simple grenade throw battle but what do i know i don't only got like 2k hours in the game i don't got that much in it compared to other people but i just wanted to show you all that video and show you all you know the traumatizing things i don't know why the screen goes black there i think it's because i had alt tabbed out the game but you know I just want to show you all those things, man. Show you all the traumatizing death of my teammates. Show you all, uh, you know, the good side. And trust me, I will have plenty of videos coming soon of a lot of deaths. Normally, I need to stop deleting them because when I record and I die, I get mad. So I just instantly delete it. But I'm going to start saving those bad boys. And I will get back to you all shortly in the next episode of Nigga Ball Z. So, Timson918 out of here. Love you guys. Bye-bye. I'm going to go beat my pee-pee now.